197. Entering last Sunday's season finale, that's how many losses the Browns endured since they last qualified for the playoffs. Here they are, fourth down and goal at the one yard line. Vic takes it, he gives it to Warwick Dunn. He didn't get in, he didn't get in. Earl Holmes stopped them. Wow, they win it. In the 18 years since, Cleveland has had eight head coaches and posted 14 double digit loss campaigns including their infamous 0-16 season. With the first pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Baker Mayfield, quarterback, Oklahoma. After going winless, the Browns drafted Baker Mayfield, hoping that the brash young quarterback could turn Cleveland's fortunes around. Almost three years later, Mayfield had the opportunity to make that dream a reality. One victory would end the longest postseason drought in the NFL. When are you in? That's all we're into. We ain't got no other options. When are you in? Just win on three. One, two, three. Just win. Despite carrying the enormous yet fragile expectations of a weary franchise and its fan base on his shoulders, Mayfield embraced the challenge. He wanted this one. I can promise you that. I mean, just in talking to him, I can see that determination. He works very hard at his craft, which I appreciate. Touchdown! It's Austin Hooper! Hey, we're gonna start leaning on you guys. Let's break it up! I thought he did a great job running around, making plays with his feet today. I mean, it's great as a play caller when you call really bad plays and he makes a play. I mean, teams play man coverage versus a mobile quarterback. Sometimes the defenders have their back to the QB, and, and a big play can happen like that. Ending a generation's worth of heartache and suffering doesn't come easy. After squandering nearly all of their 15-point fourth quarter lead. Well, let's finish it out, man. It's only right. Like you say, that's what they brought us here for. The Browns put the game and their fate in the hands of Mayfield. It was a turning point years in the making. Third down and two, Cleveland 24, Pittsburgh 22. Mayfield takes the snap. He's going to run it to the right. Mayfield turns the corner and got the first down on the right side. He slides inside the 40-yard line, and the ball game is over. We knew we had to get one first down, and however we do that, we have to get it. I heard the play call on the sideline when I was over. Case Keenum told me it. I thought he was joking at first because I didn't hear it from Kevin. But then I was like, you know what, let's go do it. You know, whatever it takes. Kevin said back, he said, let's go single wing, quarterback run game. All of our guys made good blocks, but Kareem right in front of me, I could hear that collision. He smacked that guy in front of me. Gave me enough room to get the first down. He's a quarterback of this team and, and the leader and um, to have him, you know, ball in his hands to finish the game, that was, that was impressive. What did you think when you saw him get that first down that cemented the win? I never had a doubt in my mind that he was gonna you know, fight for every yard and get the, that first down. And the Cleveland Browns have made it into the NFL playoffs for the first time in 18 long years. How much did it mean to you to be able to deliver in that situation? It means a ton. It was a turning point. Three years removed from 0 and 16, and they have turned it around. A lot of people here, guys like Joel and Miles, it hadn't been fun for them. See the smile on their faces, you know, the, the sense of relief for them. That's truly what it's all about. Hey, man. Hey, that's for you. If I said I, I thought I'd be here, you know, after that first season, and I'd be, I'd be lying to you, but, you know, time to change and this team is changed. And now we're just trying to make the most of this time. Inside First Energy Stadium. Cleveland has waited a while for this. Could you feel the energy uh, in the crowd there at the end? Yeah, for it to be that loud with a limited amount of fans, it's a moment I'll definitely never forget. I'm very happy for Northeast Ohio, for Browns fans all over the world. They deserve this. They've been waiting for this, and we're happy to deliver that to them.
keep on crying. Let's keep on crying. In a long time, hell. Turning points come in all forms. They can be granular or monumental in scope. And sometimes, on rare occasions, they can have an impact that lasts forever. We scratched and clawed and you know, found a way to get in when we had to. And uh, all we wanted was a chance, and now we have one. That's pretty damn special.